All right, hey guys, it's Dr. Erig. Now we're gonna talk about factoring. Again, factoring is one of the things that you probably won't need to do a whole lot of because you'll just be able to use the graphing calculator to check your answers. But just in case there's a problem that wants you to do it, let's go over some examples. I'm not gonna do a whole, a ton. First of all, we have a couple of special cases. We always wanna make sure that we look for the GCF. And if you wanna know what they mean by factored form, that's what this is. So this A would be like the GCF, the greatest common factor. Now, what we're gonna do is here, there's no number that can go into nine and four. So this one doesn't have a GCF. If I go over to number three, I see 250. And there is a bunch of different numbers that could go into 250. For example, you might right away notice that both 200 and, well, you might know right away that 200 divided by 50 is going to give you four. So 50 is really the number that should come out. But let's say you didn't know that. You could just keep breaking it down and do, well, 200 divided by 10 gives you 20. 50 divided by 10. And you can just keep testing it out and moving that way. So first look for the GCF. For our purposes, we're not gonna do this one, nor this one. So here, I will take out the 50. And when I do that, I noticed that 200 divided by 50 is four. So this becomes four X squared and 50 divided by 50 is one. So in here, I'm left with four X squared minus one. So that brings me to another type of factoring, and that is when we do difference of two squares. Here's a big thing. Difference means subtraction. So if we look here, this one can't be difference because it's got a plus sign. It's also got a square term, but it's got a plus sign. Difference has to be subtraction. So for example, number one and the rest of number three could work because it is the subtraction piece. So now what we're gonna do is, how do we do difference of two squares? Crazy easy. Parenthesis, parenthesis, plus minus. Because this is x squared, this will be x and x. Now you just take the square root of nine and you take the square root of four. And this works all the time. Hopefully you know the square root of nine in your head. If you don't, you put it in the calculator, three. Then I take the square root of four. Hopefully you know the square root of four on your head. If you don't, you use the calculator. Two, that problem is done. Here, we still have the 50 on the outside, but this is again a difference of two squares. X squared will break up to X and X because X, one X plus another X, X gives you X squared. That hopefully made a whole lot of sense. We already know the square root of four is two and the square root of one is one, that problem is now factored. Okay, then we get to other types of problems. We're not gonna factor anything cubed today. Here, I notice that seven can go into each one of these problems, each one of those coefficients. But I also notice that there's an X that can go into each one of these. So I'm gonna take out the seven and the X. Now, when I do that, these sevens cancel. I have x cubed here and x here, so that means I'm just left with x squared. 14 divided by seven gives me positive two. I'm gonna take one of these x's away for that one, so I'm just left with plain x. Here, the sevens cancel. Here, the x's cancel, so I'm left with one. Not zero, one. This is now not quite factored. <laughs> now we have to factor it more. So I have the seven X on the outside. Because this is positive, I know both of these, well, because this is positive, I know they're both gonna be the same. And I know that both of them are gonna be positive. Here's X, so we've got X here and X here. And the only way to get one is one times one. So now that is factored. Now, here comes a trick. If you go to this graphing calculator, if you type in the original problem, and then you type in 
That's what we think it's, that's the original problem. And then you type in what you think it is. If the pictures are exactly the same, you did it right. So the calculator is a great tool to check your work. If we look at number one, I've got nine X to the fourth. Nope, squared, minus four. Then I'm gonna check my work. Three X plus two, three X minus two. Same picture, look at, if I had the purple, the green's right there, so it works, okay? Let me do um, a couple more. We'll just do two more. Um, here, I have x squared plus 3x minus 10. This is a negative, so I know my signs are gonna be different, and I know my bigger number is gonna be positive. There's no number in front of the x, so I'm just gonna do x positive and x negative. Well, the ways that I can get 10, this is I'm subtracting, is I can do 10 minus one, 10 times one is 10, but 10 minus one is nine, so that doesn't work. Another way I can multiply to get 10 is five and two. Five times two gives me 10, and because I'm subtracting, five minus two does give me three, so these are the numbers I need. I need positive five and negative two. So that is now split. If I look at number, and you can check it, I can go right over here, type in x squared plus 3x minus 10. Here I've got x plus 5, x minus 2, except it doesn't look like that. Let me start again. x plus 5, x minus 2. And as you can see with me scrolling out, if I hide the black one, the green one's directly underneath, which means I factored it correctly. Let's look at number 11. Notice how there is a two out here. So I can't split up the two, so the two X kinda has to go together. This is positive, so this tells me that both of our signs are gonna be the same, and that means they're both gonna be negative. So I'm gonna put a negative here and a negative here. So I have to think, how can I get five? Well, if I put the two here, and the only way I can get two is one times two, but I have this other two as a special factor. So if I put the two here and the one here, this is gonna give me negative two X, and this will give me negative two X using binomial multiplication, which is negative four X. But that's not what I want. I want negative five X. So I know that the two cannot go in that spot. And it's okay to do trial and error till you get it right. That's totally fine. And the other thing I could have done is I could have just tested it out and graphed it and see what it looked like. So I'm gonna put the one here and the two here. And then let's just do the graphing strategy. We'll type it in. We have two X squared minus five X plus two, when I type in what I, I'm gonna type in what I had written before, two X minus two and X minus one. Notice that the graphs are not the same, so that's not the correct choice. But when I switch the order, it is the same graph, so that is why it's the correct choice. So we're gonna be factoring I showed you how to factor, but always double check in the graphing calculator.